This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. So this is sad. Wendy Williams, okay, we've seen this. Uh, Black China did a thing with her the other day. And, you know, now it's coming out that she has dementia uh, and a bunch of other stuff, right? Now, um, her, uh, the, her lawyer speaks out, or a lawyer, maybe it was just a lawyer, or a lawyer that was representing her at one time, speaks out and says... There's a difference between her son caring for her and the lack of the New York under this guardianship. There's some guardianship that goes on in New York where the, she was called back from Miami with her son to go deal with. And once she's under that, these people just take advantage of her, this lawyer says. And, you know, they're all around for money and this and that. It's a very sad situation. You never want to be under the care of people who want to just benefit they, they have no love for you in your best interests it's really just a money situation and that's probably what's going on with wendy williams now and it's very sad and i hope that they can get her back to her son but it, you know meanwhile people are going to bleed her dry of all her money you know she's going to have no money left and this is what can happen in a situation like this and this is really really sad and really scary honestly you know this is why when you get older or if you just get sick the wrong person can step in and take control and it's a wrap bro <laughs> it's a wrap at that point um wish it the best now here's dj khaled showing off a new watch but yet still doesn't care about Palestine. Uh, Palestine. Now, here's the thing. He's Palestinian. He's talked about this for 20 years being Palestinian, right? But all of a sudden, he's not Palestinian, which is, you know, I try to avoid that conflict as much as possible when talking about it. But this situation just shows you the character of DJ Khaled. You know, he doesn't want to be criticized for anything, you know? All this guy cares about is himself and enhancing himself you know it's just this is a clear example of who this guy really is you know um here's usher 20 years ago talking about a las vegas residency which is interesting you know because uh this guy was saying promise me you'll never be a resident of vegas and he said i can't promise that and now he's basically you know, has a residency in vegas Brick baby. Um, there's a lot of internal conflict that no jumper that they thrive on. I don't know who DW Flame is. I'll research that later. I mean, it's like it's not that big a deal. It's just maybe it's hood politics because Brick Baby does live. I think he lives near Crenshaw. I don't know. You know, he claims he's 60s. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Brick Baby's doing what we got to do to stay in social media. And he's doing it. Um, Sean Evans, the guy from Hot Ones. This is the, the explicit star he was dating. She says it ended because of her career. She said he didn't have a problem with it in the beginning, but later seemed to have a problem with it. Especially probably when Adam-22 was like commenting on her private parts and saying, oh, yeah, you picked a good one there. <laughs> that probably... That probably uh, pushed everything over the edge right there. But anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace. Peace.